hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, bars is back, hip hop, Sam and hip hop, oh god, what's up with cats? Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side, and you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side, and you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. Go man that's allegedly responsible for killing for killing atlanta rapper trouble in cold blood is finally in custody he just had a bond hearing earlier today you can see some of the footage right there and that was actually denied well the plot thickens on this particular story we now have more details of what allegedly went down that night so a couple accounts are right that pretty much, you know, the girl, the girl admits that she was pretty much dating the alleged shooter, you know, for about three years prior to messing around with my man Trouble. Now, allegedly they were in the bed sleeping, you know what I mean? Dude forces his way in the house, hence the charge, home invasion, right? They, he comes in, they get to tussling, they get to fighting now. They're saying that he was actually fighting both Trouble and the female, right? Somehow or another, dude pulls out a gun, shoots, kills, trouble on the spot. Now, the gray area here, right, and this is all alleged, right, is we don't know, you know, if her account is accurate. Like, there could be a lot more plots, there could be a lot more twists to this story than what she's just saying. Now, on the surface, I guess we all should believe it, but it, she still could have been messing with the dude. It could be a lot of things, you know what I mean? It, I ain't going to say, I'm not going to put it, could have been a setup, but you just know that, you know, detectives and police are probably going to look into all pops, possible avenues when they're looking into something like this. I mean, you get the story from the person, and then, you know, we all watch enough TV shows and whatnot and investigative series to say, okay, you get the story. Then you start seeing if the evidence matches up with the story that the particular person is telling you. So... We're going to see how this goes. Um, I'm sure she probably spoke with the police already. And that's how the story, you know, leaked out. Um, you know, from what it looks like from us, from the outside looking in, dude was jealous. He went in there. He was messing with his girl. He went in there, confronted him, which on the surface is some sucker you know what, right? If that's the case, if dude was in his feelings like that, that was some sucker, you know what I mean? But maybe there's different aspects to the story that we just don't really really know about um and, and we will we'll definitely find out you know as things continue to move forward but this to me this is a tragedy man that shouldn't have happened and i'm, I'm gonna say it like this man i think if you're in the position that trouble was right you're, you're a known rapper um you know regardless of what it may be and T.I. rapped about this in a long time, you know what I mean? He rapped about this on um, Paper Trail when he was pretty talking about, you know, either, got, either die or go to jail. That's a hell of a decision, meaning carry a pistol, carry a gun, carry a means of protection, get caught by the police, go to jail, or die, right? And this, unfortunately, is the reality that most people, not most, but some people are living with inside these areas like this you're known and it, it could happen to anybody right but you're known you know this ain't a situation where you were sitting in your car and like that you mess up with a chick word starts to spread maybe somebody seen your car out there maybe dude was watching who knows what happened but nevertheless you have to be in a position i think to protect yourself like i said yesterday you are now in the ocean right you're bleeding but you're in that ocean with a bunch of great white sharks that see you and you don't see them, right? So it, it, it's just sad, man. I'll definitely keep you guys, you know, um, updated as this, you know, continues to move forward. And I definitely appreciate you guys listening in.